Hello, everyone. Once again, it is story time with Teacher Cole. For those who don't know me, I am your host, Teacher Cole, and I am the owner of Teacher Cole's English Corner. It is an online tutoring company specializing in teaching you English online. We cater to adults and children alike with many highly educated teachers using unique and interesting methods to teach you English online. We use current events, social studies, science, literature, and traditional lessons as well. But today is another story time with Teacher Cole. And today we're going to continue our holiday theme with another Christmas story. We're going to revisit Arthur and his sister, Violet. Arthur and Violet want to give their parents a wonderful Christmas gift, and they have decided to make some Christmas cookies. Let's follow along and see how their adventure works. Let's get started, shall we? Arthur's Christmas Cookies, written and illustrated by Lillian Hoban. For my children who know all about clay cookies. It was the Saturday before Christmas. Mother and father were shopping. Violet was making a napkin holder for mother. Arthur was watching the snow fall. I was making presents too, said Arthur. I made a wooden lamp for father, but it would not stand right. It was the Saturday before Christmas. Mother and father were shopping. Violet was making a napkin holder for mother. Arthur was watching the snow fall. I was making presents too, said Arthur. I made a wooden lamp for father, but it would not stand right. I sawed off one side to get it even, but I sawed off too much. Now it won't stand up at all. Why don't you buy presents? Said Violet. You could use the money you were saving. Well, I only had 52 cents, said Arthur. I bought two Slim Jims for 20 cents and a big buddy for a nickel. Then I was thirsty. So I got a 10 cent soda. After that, I got a Lola Finola comic. The last two pennies fell out of my pocket. They rolled into a crack on the porch and now I can't get them out. Two cents is not enough for presents anyway, said Violet. I know, said Arthur. I made father a clay paperweight, said Violet. I dried it in my, easy, my bake easy oven. Maybe I should try to make something else, said Arthur. If you let me use your bake easy oven, I could bake some cookies. You don't know how to make cookies, said Violet. Yes, I do, said Arthur. We learned how at Cub Scouts. I can make Christmas cookies for mother and father, and I will make a special one for you, said Arthur. All right, said Violet. She ran to get her oven. Have you ever baked something special for your parents? or maybe even just cook them 
a special meal. I have. I used to make omelets and pancakes for my parents. Arthur tied an apron around his waist. Then he got the measuring cups, the rolling pin, and the cookie sheets. I do like baking cookies, said Arthur. You don't have to saw cookies. You don't have to worry about getting cookies to stand up. And they are good to eat. Do you agree with Arthur? Do you like baking cookies? Do you think this is a good gift? Here is my bake easy oven, said Violet. Remember, you promised to make a special cookie for me. I remember, said Arthur. I will make you a special reindeer cookie. Arthur, called Norman. Come on out. Let's have a snowball fight. I can't come out, said Arthur. Why not? asked Norman. I am baking cookies now, said Arthur. Can I come in? asked Norman. Can I lick the bowl and the scraper? I am not making that kind, said Arthur. Well, what kind are you making? asked Norman. I am making Christmas cookies. The kind you roll out, said Arthur. I am making stars and angels and bells for mother and Christmas trees and Santa Clauses and reindeer for father. You said you would make a reindeer cookie for me, said Violet. I know, said Arthur. Let me help, said Violet. It is my oven. Hmm. Do you think Arthur's cookies are going to be wonderful and amazing? Hmm. Let's see if he has any trouble. I will let you and Norman get the flour and the sugar and the butter, said Arthur. But I will make the cookies by myself. All right, said Norman. Where's the flour? It is next to the glass jar of sugar, said Arthur. Norman took down the glass jar of flour and the jar next to it. Now, there is nothing for me to do, said Violet. You can get the butter, said Arthur. All right, said Violet. Arthur mixed the butter and the sugar in a bowl. He put the flour in too. Then he added some water and patted the dough into a large ball. Here is Wilma, said Violet. She can watch you bake cookies. My big sister bakes cookies, says Wilma. She puts in raisins and nuts and sometimes chocolate chips. I like that kind, said Norman. And I like oatmeal cookies and ginger cookies and the little sandwich cookies with cream in between. Hmm. What kind of cookies do you like? I like grasshopper cookies and chocolate chip cookies. What about you? Well, said Arthur, I am making plain sugar cookies. I like plain sugar cookies, said Norman. So do I, said Wilma. Move back. Violet, said Arthur, I can't roll out the dough without mashing your nose. It's Wilma, said Violet. She's pushing. You pushed me first, said Wilma, and I'm pushing back. Uh-oh. Watch out, yelled Arthur. Now look what you did. 
the ball of dough fell on the floor. It rolled under Norman's foot. It's still good, said Norman. Just a little dirty. Ew. Would you eat some cookies that someone had stepped on? I don't know. Do you think it's dirty? That does it, said Arthur. All of you, get out. Please, said Violet. We will be nice. If you make us each a special cookie, I will make hot chocolate and we can have a before Christmas party. Can I have a Santa cookie? Asked Norman. Me too, said Wilma. All right, said Arthur. But no more pushing. Arthur rolled the dough flat. He cut some cookies for mother and father and the special cookies too. He made a Christmas tree for himself. Then he put the cookie sheets in the bake easy oven. Now I will make hot chocolate, said Violet. Put some marshmallows in it, said Norman. My big sister puts whipped cream in hot chocolate, said Wilma. For Christmas parties, we stir in, we stir it with candy canes. We don't have any candy canes, said Arthur. When will the cookies be done, asked Violet. They all looked inside the oven. The cookies don't look done, said Norman. They look just like they did when you put them in. Hmm. I wonder why the cookies look the same. Hmm. Well, said Arthur, I think they will be done by the time the hot chocolate is ready. Arthur got the cups and saucers and spoons. Then he put a marshmallow in the bottom of each cup. Violet poured the hot chocolate and the marshmallows floated to the top. Arthur went to get the cookies. They look just like they did before, he said, but they feel hard when I push down on them. So they must be done. Hmm. Arthur put the special Santas and the special reindeer cookie and the Christmas tree on a plate. Now we can have our before Christmas party, said Violet. Norman's Santa fell on the floor, said Wilma, but it did not break. How do you know it's my Santa, said Norman, because mine is still on the plate, said Wilma. It's always mine that falls on the floor, said Norman. Norman took a bite of Santa's hat. What is the matter with Norman, said Violet. Norman's mouth is funny. You have to be careful when you eat these cookies, said Norman. My loose front tooth came out, but... I never got a bite of cookie. Hmm. What do you think is wrong with the cookies? Can you make a guess, a prediction? Let's see. Arthur tried to bite into his Christmas tree. Something is wrong, he said. This cookie is as hard as a rock. My sister's cookies are never hard, said Wilma. I wish I had one now. I don't understand, said Arthur. I made the same dough that we made at Cub Scouts. I am licking mine, said Violet. It tastes salty. These are salt cookies, said Norman. They are as hard as rocks. Arthur looked at his cookies. 
Then he looked at Norman. Norman said, I think I gave you the salt instead of the sugar. It's not fair, said Arthur. My presents never turn out right. My lamp would not stand. My cookies are like rocks. Nothing I make is any good. He began to cry. Oh, poor Arthur. You cut the cookies right, said Violet. They look nice. You know what, said Norman. My mother makes play clay with flour and salt and water. These cookies are made of flour and salt and water. Arthur has baked clay cookies, clay angels and bells and stars and Christmas trees and Santas. I made a clay paperweight, said Violet. I am painting it blue. Arthur stopped crying. He wiped his eyes and blew his nose. He drank all of his hot chocolate. Then he thought for a while. Hmm. Can you think of a solution to Arthur's problem? Hmm. What can he do with hard clay cookies? Let's see. Maybe I could still use my cookies, said Arthur. Maybe I could paint them all different colors. You can't eat clay cookies, even if they are different colors, said Wilma. They would not be for eating, said Arthur. They can be Christmas tree ornaments. Father, mother and father can hang them on the tree. They will have my present every Christmas for a long time. Arthur blew his nose again. Then he got out his paints and the tape and some hooks. Everyone watched Arthur paint the cookies. He painted the angels pink and the Christmas trees green. He painted the bells gold and the stars silver. Then Arthur taped a hook to the top of each cookie. Wilma said, I am going to paint my Santa and put it on our tree. I am going to paint my reindeer too, said Violet. I like Arthur's ornaments better than the ones in the store. They are not bad, said Norman. They are kind of nice. Yes, said Arthur. They are kind of nice. I made a good present after all. Everyone had more hot chocolate. This time, Arthur put two marshmallows in each cup. And when they were done, they all helped clean up the kitchen. But Arthur wrapped his Christmas present for mother and father by himself. Well, this is the end of our story today. What did you think of Arthur's present? Do you think this was a good solution for his clay cookies? <laughs> well, I hope everybody has had a wonderful holiday season and I look forward to seeing you again next week for a new story. Don't forget to join our Facebook group, Teacher Cole's English Corner, where you can join like-minded parents with students learning online or talk to other adults as well who are learning English too. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye.